the secret passage is ready. And Ukrainians just came up with simply mind-blowing and geniusly easy plan to win in this war. I mean, it is just so simple. Everyone will be like, huh, yeah, this makes sense. And in the meantime, Russians are preparing a nuclear apocalypse on the Parosia nuclear power plant. But more about all of this in just a couple of minutes. What's up, investors? It's the Russian dude. And let's go straight to the point and talk about some ridiculous Russian propaganda. <laughs> so you remember yesterday I was talking about Kadyrov Pillow. Well, so people on the internet went ahead and they created the mini figure of Ramzan Kadyrov, which as you can see on your screens. You can order it probably from AliExpress or Alibaba and uh, once again do whatever you want with uh, this figure which is, to be honest, pretty detailed and relatively high quality looking. And I mean, who knows, maybe we can even buy some of these mini figures and then I can give some of them to you in the future, I mean, why not? <laughs> and by the way, speaking about the giveaways, thank you so much for 200,000. This is absolutely incredible, I love you guys. And as promised, next week I will have a surprise competition for you and I will give away some prizes. And if you want to participate, all you need to do is simply to like this video and subscribe to my channel. That's it. It's that simple. You can also follow me on Instagram, because I will give all the details right there on my Instagram. The link is down below. But as for now, please allow me just a couple of words about the Western military support to Ukraine. Then we'll go to the East and talk about Ukrainians seizing the advantage around Bakhmut. And then we'll move to the South, talk about the nuclear apocalypse by Russians, the secret passage and mind-blowingly easy plan of Ukrainians to win this war. And first of all, right here is just one of American infantry combat fighting vehicles called Bradley, which Ukrainians are using on the front lines, which survived the direct hit by uh, some kind of uh, munition. And as you can see, it was uh, pretty not that much damaged. Next we have some statements from the United States of America, which say that they intensified their talks about supplying Ukraine with the cluster munition, which will be extremely beneficial for Ukrainians whenever they do launch their massive counteroffensive. The next statement comes to us from the World Bank, which wants to issue 1.5 billion dollars support to Ukraine on the guarantees by Japan. And what about then now uh, Russia? Well, according to this British intelligence report, the military spending of this country increased all the way from 3.6% of GDP to 4.4% of GDP, which to be honest is a massive increase, despite all the facts that Russians are saying, I mean, no, we just keep doing this war as usual, we don't do anything else extraordinary. <laughs> and the most interesting part is that the Russian budget has this 22% of undisclosed spendings, most likely just the bribes for <laughs> oligarchs. And that's pretty much it, told you it will be very fast. Ok, now let's go to the east and talk about Ukrainians seizing advantage around Bakhmut before moving to the south. And first of all, according to the report by the Institute for the Study of War, both Russia and Ukraine continue their offensive around Kriminna, with no success from neither of the sides. Next we have this 9 plus minutes video of Ukrainians capturing Russian soldiers who also some of them surrender voluntarily because they are afraid of Ukrainian counteroffensive, something what we were talking about in yesterday's episode. And this video once again just way too long for me to show the entire of it on YouTube, that is why the rest of it is on my Patreon, the link is down below and there is still one week of free access. Next we go to Bakhmut itself, where Ukrainians advanced mainly in two directions. The first one was next to the, one of the major highways MO3 and then to the south next to Klishivka. And according to once again the same report by the Institute for the Study of War, Ukrainians are already seizing the advantage around Bakhmut and they start to exploit it. And as a result of these combat activities, as you can see from this map, Ukrainians were able to liberate a little bit of its territory next to Klishivka, and then as we go to the north of Bakhmut, a little bit more territory has been liberated next to Orikhova Vasilivka. But Russians unfortunately got a little bit closer to this water reservoir next to Berhivka. Right, just a couple of last words before we move to the south. And first of all, unfortunately, there has been yet another attack by Russians against the civilian infrastructure, specifically a school located in Serhivka, Donetsk region. 
And in response to that, Ukrainians were able to find a large warehouse and concentration of Russian forces to the north of Donetsk city. And yes, they destroyed it. And just overall, in the last 24 hours, Ukrainians were able to intercept 10 out of 13 Shahid drones sent by Russians. Right, and now as promised, let's talk about the situation in the south, then we'll talk about the nuclear apocalypse by Russians, the secret passage, an extremely easy plan of Ukrainians to win in this war. And our first stop brings us to Berdyansk, where locals reported at least 11 extremely loud noises in this city. And later, Russian propagandists show us these remains of this missile, which according to them is the Storm Shadow. And at the same time, Ukrainians are still achieving relatively good progress on the Parozhia front line, such as for example, first of all, right here. As you can see, Ukrainians were able to liberate a little bit more land to the south of Orihiv, and then as we go to Velika Novosilka front line, as you can see right here, Ukrainians advanced a little bit further as well. But the most controversial news of the recent days come to us from Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, where according to the head of defense intelligence of Ukraine, Kirill Budanov, Russians planted explosives in 4 out of 6 power units of this nuclear power plant. And in case bad things do happen, on this map you can see just the approximate areas which will be severely affected by this incident, and at least 2.7 million people can be also affected due to the radiation exposure. And in order to confirm that yes, indeed, something is definitely happening on the territory of this plant, according to the same defense intelligence of Ukraine, Russians who were previously stationed on its territory, they now started to leave. I mean, just think about it, the Parozhye nuclear power plant is relatively far from all the front lines, that is why it is not the immediate area of attack that Ukrainians will try to recapture. So, why would Russians leave? It has also been mentioned that according to Ukrainian intelligence, the deadline for every single Russian on this plan to leave is July 5th. So maybe this is the date, which is already next week, when potentially something can happen. And according to Kirill Budanov, these explosives that are located in the water reservoirs destined to destroy them, which basically means that the power plant will be without cooling down its reactors, which can potentially cause a meltdown. And right here is the video presentation or slash visualization what can happen to our planet in case America, China and Russia are engaged in this nuclear nuclear war as a result of any of the nuclear escalations in the past, such as, for example, the accident incident on the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. As you can see, the prognosis is not that hopeful, with estimations to be saying that approximately 99% of the human population will cease to exist. The full video is more than 3 minutes and I decided to upload it completely for free on my Patreon, the link is down below. And yes, hopefully this does not happen, because we all know how devastating the consequences can be as a result of Zaporozhye nuclear power plant destruction or even worse, the actual nuclear war. But rest assured, in the worst case scenario, I will still keep making my daily updates because I want to provide you with the freshest news possible, no matter what. And so if you want to receive them, just please subscribe to my channel. And finally, let's talk about this secret passage, an extremely mind-blowingly easy plan of Ukrainians to win in this war. So if you remember approximately one week ago, I was talking about this Kachovka reservoir, which was as a result of Kachovka dam incident completely dry, and then the land actually became dry and possible for it to be used to cross by foot. The Kachovka water reservoir we are talking about is located right here, which gives Ukrainians another direction of an attack, which is completely unexpected direction, where Russians expect the attack of Ukrainians the least. And this is the secret passage I was talking about, which opens once again another direction for Ukrainian attacks. In addition to all the other directions where Ukrainians are already attacking, which makes Russians to spread their forces extremely thin in which is also confirmed by this British intelligence report, which at least mentions Donbass region in the east of Ukraine, which says that multiple assaults of Ukrainians across different front lines forces Russians to spread their forces pretty much everywhere, trying to protect everything. 
At the same time, coming back to the report by the Institute for the Study of War, Russians once again started bringing back their military equipment to Kherson region to the left side of Dnipro river. Which makes Russians, besides already having razor-thin defenses, to spend so much time, resources and materials and energy on these never-ending relocations back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I mean, whenever you try to hold on to everything, eventually you will end up protecting nothing. Because, I mean, if this is just the theoretical front line and Ukrainian concentration of forces is right here, it takes them almost nothing to attack either here or here. But at the same time, it will make Russians to relocate their forces from here all the way here. Then, for example, if Ukrainians start to attack in the Parogia region, they can also put their extremely... <laughs> focused attacks on the western side and then for example they can go to the east to Donbass region and once again just coming from one single place this will make Russians again spread their defenses very thin and pretty much the same thing happened in the east if Ukrainians want to send their attacks right here and then right here starting from the same original location once again this will make Russians go all the way to the northeast of Ukraine spreading their forces even thinner Dinner. And this is this exactly mind-blowing and simple strategy of Ukrainians to win in this war. Just to first of all exhaust the enemy of these constant relocations, probe their defenses, and eventually Ukrainians will find a weak spot, where they will concentrate their major attacks. But as for now, it might not seem like that the counteroffensive is going extremely fast, like we maybe were even expecting something similar from Kharkov or Kherson region, but it was just perfectly said by the general staff of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzhny, he said that this is the counteroffensive in the real life, this is not a movie, this is not a show. This is not like a Rambo who can eliminate the entire camp with just one knife. This is real life. Every single meter of liberated Ukrainian land comes at a cost with spilling blood. That is why let's give Ukrainians some time, let's have faith in them, they will win. Good always beats evil. We just need to be a little bit more more patient and everything will be extremely good for this country. And if you don't want to miss this extremely good and liberating counteroffensive, can you please subscribe to my channel? It only takes one click. The absolutely best way to support my work is through my Patreon. You can also become my channel member or simply the PayPal link. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Everything can be found at the right and down below. Thank you so much for your attention. Tavarishi, beware, there are scammers in the comments and see you on Monday.